All right, this video is going to be pretty deep. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to talk about my solution to war, how to bring peace to this world, and things like that. I hear a lot of people talking about why this can't happen, why these countries fight each other, and all this nonsense. And I'm going to tell you guys, it's not that hard. It's not as hard as people think it is to stop all this stuff. But anyways, if you like my content, would you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel? And also, check out the links in the description below if you want to support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, I'm going to get started. So, why do people or countries go to war? Let's start with that, right? And if you have a logical thinking mind or brain, and you can understand simple common sense things, right? You're going to understand what I'm saying. And if you can't comprehend what I'm saying, then something's wrong with you. That's all I'm going to say. So why does this happen? Think about any war or any mass killing, destruction, slaughtering, whatever you want to call it, that's taken place on this planet ever. In, the, in, in the, any history that you guys know, any history you were taught in school, it doesn't matter what country you're from, doesn't matter what you know where you live or anything like that. What matters is, and I'm pretty certain damn near every country gets taught the same stuff in terms of the general overview of what's taking place in the world, right? In history, for the most part, I, I would like to think that I don't know every country's curriculum in terms of what they teach as far as history. But I'm going to assume from the people I've talked to in my life that most countries have the same relatively un relative understanding of what's happened in this world, right? The history, the wars, things like that. So any war you've ever thought of, think about why it happens. It's always, it's never the civilians. It's never the general pop population that starts these wars. It's always the countries. It's always the governments, right? The governments and the countries always have a reason to go after another country or another government, right? And... They can make up whatever BS they want to make up to attack whatever country they want to attack, right? And But it's a lot more sinister than that, and I'm going to get into that in this video. As If you guys have been following me, as you know from the things I've said, this world is controlled by evil demons, aliens, whatever you want to call it, right? It's up to you how you want to perceive that. But let's just call them demons for simplicity's sake, right? The world is controlled by demons, by evil demons. Obviously, they're, if they're demons, they're evil, right? And um, because the world is controlled by that, they can make whatever scenario happen. They've controlled the world for thousands and thousands of years. So er anything that has happened in our history that you're aware of or that you've known was caused by these aliens or demons. It, it was caused by them. They made that scenario happen. And what I'm talking about is wars, floods, whatever you want to think has happened in this world. It was caused by these demons. And the wars, if we let's let's start at a basic level, right? Let's say let's let's take the demons out of it for one second. And let's just talk about humans. Humans kill each other because they think they have a reason to kill each other. And where do these reasons come from? They come from patriotism, religions, whatever. Whatever they believe in is just and righteous. That's what they use as an excuse to go to war and fight with other people. Now, again, it's not it's not the civilians or the general population that starts these wars or, you know, causes these events to happen. It's not the normal everyday guy, not your neighbor. It's not somebody. It's not your friend. It's the government, unless, you know, somebody, you know, works for the government or whatever, and they had something to do with it. But it's always the government, the monarchies, whatever, whatever system you have in place in your country that decides we need to go to war with this country. That's who decides this. And then they enlist the civilian population to become soldiers or military for them. And then they're like, OK, we're going to use these people to carry out our agenda what we feel we got to attack this country over we need these people to fight for us right 
That's how it works. Tell me a scenario that's not like that in, in history. So as you can see, it's very simple. The governments get the people riled up and tell them, hey, and if you're patriotic or whatever, then you're going to support your government, right? You're going to support your country. They say, hey, this country is bad. We need to attack them. They did this bad thing. They, they murdered this person, this, this important person in our country. So we got to go after them. They, whatever, you know, whatever's happened that they're, they're using as a scenario to start a war with the other country, right? A lot of times it's actually an inside job, meaning the country themselves did something to attack themselves, to have a reason to go after another country. Uh, 9-11 comes to mind, right? And that's just one example. There, there have been others. But long story short, it's always the governments. It's always the ones that are in control of the countries that decide, okay, it's time to attack these other people, right? And the civilians, they just go along with it. They're like, well, this country did this bad thing because the media said so, or the news said so, whatever, or our leadership in our country said so. So now we got to go kill these people. The problem is that because the world is controlled by demons and evil and governments and countries, the general population, they feel they are basically compelled to take the side of where, wherever they live, wherever they were born, which again, you don't have any control over where you're born, right? So whatever country you were born into, you got to follow those laws. You got to listen to the leadership, the governments, whatever. And if you don't, you know, they'll deal with you, right? That's every country's like that. Um, but regardless, wherever you're born and, and whatever you believe in or whatever religion you follow, whatever, you're going to side with that because that's what you were raised with and that's what you believe is to be the right thing. And they're going to use their people to carry out their agendas. So these demons, they play a game of how many humans we can kill during this war? How many humans can we kill during this war? And why do they do that? Because the demons feed off of the negative energy and the misery that's caused during these wars. It's like a buffet for them, right? They just feast on this. They eat negative energy. That's what they do. So, and that's, you know, that's beyond the human level, but that's the real reason why these wars happen. That's why all this ki killing is happening, all the slaughtering and, and madness and death. It's happening because these evil demons that control the world, that's what they enjoy. They like seeing humans suffer. And the humans are too dumb to realize that the things that they're dying for or killing each other over are really meaningless things. Religion, gov uh, country, whatever you think you're fighting for, right? Whatever honorable thing you think in your mind is honorable that you're giving your life for or supporting if you're not, you know, if you're not in the military and you're just supporting your military or your government, these meaningless things that you're putting all your energy behind and hopes and beliefs in is what's causing people to kill each other and die. That's it. So my solution is very simple. Stop believing in this in these nonsensical things like religions, governments, countries. I'll give you some examples, right? Look at the war with Russia and Ukraine. Those people are pretty much the same people, yet they're killing each other over what? Over border dispute, right? Over land, over an area that Putin wants, over a line, an imaginary line in the sand that these people believe exists. They're killing each other over this. And then when they die, all their efforts were for naught because they're gone. And what it, it doesn't matter which side wins. If you if you died, you lost because whatever you were fighting for goes with you. So now you're dead. Whatever you believed in, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> no, nobody cares what you believe in because you're dead. Right? Maybe your family will honor you or whatever, cherish your memory or whatever, but you no longer exist. So your thoughts and your, and your belief and all your efforts are gone. Whether you win or lose doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to make is these people are killing each other and they're pretty much the same people, but they're doing it because the two governments can't get along, can't figure out how to 
solve this dispute without killing each other or sending their militaries to kill each other, whether you think Putin's in the wrong or Zelensky, it doesn't matter who you think is the bad guy, who's the Nazi, who's the whatever. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter who you think the dictator is, whatever. Who's the aggressor, who's, who's whatever. I don't care what you, who you think is right. The point is, these countries exist, these governments exist, they have their leadership in place, and these people that are running these countries feel like they need to kill their populations because they're not killing each other. You don't see Zelensky and Putin fighting each other, but they're sending people to kill each other, right? And then I heard Putin uh, talking to Tucker, and I talked about this in my last video, where he was like, oh, well, we want to talk to Ukraine, but they won't talk to us. So until they talk to us, we're going to keep killing people. That's basically what he said. You know, I'm paraphrasing, but his mindset is, well, we can't stop this war because we haven't talked to Ukraine. So we got to keep killing people. And Ukraine's like, well, we don't want to talk to uh, Russia and we don't want to make any peace. So we uh, got to keep sending our soldiers to fight them and, and die. That's what's happening. That's the basic gist of it. On a fundamental level, on a simple common sense level, that's what's happening. Think about, think about what I'm saying. For one second, just think. Stop taking sides. Stop, stop putting your feelings into it. Think logically and say, why are these people doing this shit? For what reason are they killing each other? For what? It's because these countries exist. And these governments ex exist. And they, they have these leaderships. That say, oh, you know what? We want to do this thing. So we're going to send these people to go kill these people. And until we get what we want, right? That's basically what's happening. Now, let's go to another conflict. Israel and Palestine, right? Apparently, there was a terrorist that attacked some people in Israel. And now Israel's retaliating, right? And Israel's in the right or Palestine is in the right. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care whose side you're on, all right? It's all nonsensical bullshit, okay? First of all, the demons are the ones that are controlling the governments. They're the ones sending these people to do all these evil things. They're mind controlling these people. MK Ultra, look it up. MK Ultra, look it up. They're using this technology to mind control people, sending them to do these evil, horrible things, and then blaming whatever government or country or whatever. I don't care what terrorist organization you believe in. I don't care about none of that. I'm telling you what's really happening, okay? The evil demons that control the world, control the governments, they send these people to do these evil things, and then they have a reason for these countries to fight each other. Now, again, these people, let, let, let me just explain this on a basic level. Let's say these humans on the Palestinian side that decided to go and kill all these people in Israel, whatever happened, right? I don't even know the full details, but it doesn't matter. Just take the example for what it is. If these people from Palestine went to Israel to go kill whoever in a terrorist attack, right? Does killing people in Palestine bring those people back? D does it make the situation right? Does, does it fix anything? It doesn't do anything. So now all you have is a war where more people are dying than the initial, initial people that died to begin with. Not to mention I'm hearing kids are dying, women, blah, 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 right? All these people are dying. And that's just to make, you know, the general world population feel more miserable overall, right? Because they see all this death and killing innocent babies, innocent children, women are dying, blah, blah, blah. It's just to set the mood for the whole world to be evil and negative so that these demons can have more energy to feast off of, right? But if the people that were in, in this conflict that were fighting and killing each other, just took a step back and said, why are we doing this? Why are we killing each other? And is anything improving? No, more people are dying. So what's the point of the war? It's not bringing peace. War doesn't bring peace. Bro war brings death. It doesn't bring peace. But these people that are fighting each other, they feel like, well, we have to do this because we have to defend our country, defend our honor, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's not working out. It's not, nothing's happening, but just more people are dying. And the reason why I brought that up or this whole example is because those people are pretty much the same thing. The only thing that's separating them is their, probably their language. I don't know if they even speak a different language. 
uh, their religions and an imaginary line in the sand that says, this is Israel and this is Palestine. That's it. That's what's making those people fight. Why is this worth fighting over? Not to mention, let's just say they're fighting, fighting for religious purposes, right? Their religions are fake. Straight up. All religions are fake. So if you believe in any religion and you think there's a God that's telling you that you have to do this because if you don't, you're going to go to heaven or hell, whatever. It's fake. It's not real. So these people are killing each other over things that are not even real. But if it's not a religious war, if it's just because, oh, even though they've been warring for ages, right? They've been killing each other forever. But if it's not because of that, then even if the initial scenario, which is a terrorist attack, that doesn't excuse the retaliation from Israel, which is killing more people. How does that fix the original problem that happened, which is the terrorist attack? That doesn't fix anything. That doesn't make things better. It's just causing more death and destruction. So that's my point. What's the point of it? And it's again, it goes back to the civilians or the military personnel that believe that they're fighting for a righteous cause. So they go and kill each other without really thinking, okay, if I die, then what did I just fight for? Because I'm dead now. And whatever I believed in goes with me. Another example that could happen very soon in the potential near future is China and Taiwan. China is willing to go and invade Taiwan and kill Chinese people because they don't want them to have their own government. That's the only reason. So I talk to people from China and I'm trying to get an understanding of their way of thinking and why they support this. And their only reason, reason that I, they've ever come up with is, oh, um, well, Taiwan has always belonged to China, so they should just do whatever we tell them. And I'm like, you're not the Chinese government. You don't work for the Chinese government. You don't know anybody that works in the Chinese government. You didn't make any laws or rules. So why do you care what the Taiwanese people are doing? It doesn't affect your life at all. But you want your government to control those people. Why? Those people don't want to be controlled by China. They want to have their own little country over there. They want to have their own little government. Let them be. They're living in peace right they're not hurting anyone they're not attacking china they're not doing anything they're just living their lives why does china have the right to go kill those people and take over their land just because they feel they belong to china and who is china anyway who is the person in china or the people that say taiwan belongs to us we have the right to own them who is that person let me let, let me let you in on a little secret and this goes for every government. There is no person like that. There is no China. There is no United States. There is no Taiwan. There is no Israel or Palestine or Russia or Ukraine. That's all imaginary shit. It doesn't exist. There's nobody there that, re that represents that name. Now, there are people that work in the government and militaries that you can say, they're representing that. But when I ask the question, who is China that wants to control Taiwan? Who is that person? There is no person like that. There are people that feel compelled by some imaginary force that they that's called China, that they have to take over this land. And they're just people listening to other people that are telling them to do that. And then the civilians who don't know any better, they're just listening to their government because they're scared of their, their government. So they're like, well, if we don't do what China says, we're fucked. So we have to do what they tell us. Because, you know, you guys, I'm pretty sure everybody watching this knows how tyrannical the Chinese government is. So they're very restrictive on their civilians. They're very forceful with their laws. So they're not going to let their population have free thought and decide, you know what, China? We don't like what you're doing. And when I say China, I'm talking about the government, right? And that's what I try to tell these people. I'm like, you're not your government. Like they think they are their government. I'm like, you're not China. 
Because I've told them, I said, I don't like China. And they're like, well, you don't like me. And I'm like, but you're not China. <laughs> you're just a person. You're a civilian. You are you don't work for the government. You just live there. You were just born there. Right? Like, you're not China. But they can't, like, they're so brainwashed, they can't see this. But anyways, all I'm trying to say is, this is the solution. It's very simple. If people stop listening to their governments and to their officials that are telling them to go kill other people for meaningless reasons, that's how you solve war. And that's how you bring peace to the world. Because it's always been the governments and the monarchies and whatever ruling system you have in your country that decides we need to go and kill these other people. It's always been that way. It's never not been that way. Tell me one time where it hasn't been that way, where the civilians were the ones that decided to go to war. It's never been that way. Ever. It's always been the governments attacking other governments and saying, okay, look, we got to take over this place or we got to attack this place or this place did this thing we don't like, so we have to do this. Like, it's always been that way. There's never not been a time that that hasn't happened. So again, it's very simple. Just stop listening to these corrupt governments. And I don't care where you live. I'm talking about any government in the world. That includes the United States. Stop listening because we could also have a civil war here, right? So stop listening to these governments and, and state governments, countries, whatever, that are telling you, oh, you need to fight for this reason. You need to uh, defend this honor. Because if you don't, then what? Then what? Then what? It doesn't matter. If everybody did this, it would stop immediately. That's how simple it is. The problem is, there's, there are two main problems. People don't think like this. They think that they have to do these things. And then when they realize that it's stupid, you know what they always say? What everyone says to me? They're like, well, there's nothing we can do. We just got to do it. They don't even want to try to attempt to change the way they think or the way other people think. They just say, fuck it. Because people are lazy thinkers. They're lazy people. Like they don't want to do anything about anything. They just see the problem. Like I said, I, I explain it and I'm like, this is what's going on. This is what needs to happen. And they're like, well, what can I do? And I'm like, well, yeah, if you think like that, nothing's ever going to happen. And, and, and that's how everybody thinks, unfortunately. So here I am, delusional, whatever, hopeless hope, hoper, that's like, okay, let me try to talk some sense into humans and maybe something will change. That's what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to teach people and make them understand what's going on in the world so that we can stop all this nonsensical bullshit. People don't need to die. People don't need to be killed. This doesn't need to happen. It's sad that we live in a world like this where people feel compelled to kill each other over nothing. Literally nothing. There's no reason that anyone can tell me that justifies somebody killing someone else other than self-defense. That's it. That's the only scenario where I can see that someone would need to kill someone else. If someone's trying to kill you, then obviously you got to defend yourself or you're going to die, right? Like, that's just common sense. But even in a scenario like that, usually the people that are trying to hurt someone else, something's wrong with that person. They're either tr don't have a good life. They were taught the wrong things. Some, they're mentally disturbed. Whatever the case is, something's wrong with that person that's trying to do this evil. And you know what causes that? It's the world that we have, the systems that we have, the beliefs that we have. That's what's causing the killings and the evil and, and people doing bad things. It's the way the world is structured. And the way the world is purposely structured in the way that it's structured to cause this evil to happen. It was made that way purposely by the evil ones that control the world, by the demons. They do this every planet they go to. They set up these structures that cause this evil to happen. And then the stupid civilians that live on the planet, they can't figure out what's going on. And they just fall for the bullshit. So I'm here trying to, you know, because I see through all this shit. It's simple to me. Like, 
Why, why can I think this way? Why, why can I say, you know what? We don't need to kill anybody for any reason. Let's just stop. Why can I do that? But nobody else can. Why? And I'm not saying nobody. I mean, when I say nobody, I'm talking about most people, right? Most people feel like we got to do these things. And if most people don't feel that way, then why the fuck is this shit happening? Why, why do we have these wars? Why do we have all this shit going on in the world? I'm not saying most people are not, you know, peaceful. Most people are peaceful. But the way they think about the world, they may not want to go and kill someone or hurt someone, but they'll support it. They'll be like, yeah, well, and you know how you support it? You support your government. You support your laws. You support whatever you feel is righteous or, or just in your mind or whatever patriotism or religion you have, right? You feel like, well, if my country does this thing, it's okay. It's justified. They, they, they should do that because of whatever bullshit reason your country tells you you need to support them, right? That's how everybody is for the most part. So even if you're not violent it doesn't mean that you're not contributing to the violence with your ignorance by supporting these corrupt fucking governments who are causing these things to happen that's why i don't believe in governments or countries that's why i don't believe in any of this shit i think it's nonsensical to follow these governments and countries that have only served to hurt people not always their people even though every country does hurt their people but usually other people in other countries. And it's whatever these corrupt officials feel they need to go and hurt other people for. Whatever their justification is, their goals, their agenda, whatever, right? But anyways, I think I've talked long enough. I think you guys get the point. So again, to reiterate, it's very simple. We shouldn't live in a world where people feel compelled to kill each other for any reason. We do live in that world but it needs to change and it can be changed. And it starts with getting rid of the structures that exist, that separate people. That's what's causing the wars. That's what's causing people to, to kill each other and hurt each other. And I know a lot of people don't believe in a one world government. They're like, uh, well, you, you want a one world government? I don't, I don't want any government. I think everybody should be grown enough to live in their own space without killing or hurting someone else. The problem is we've never really had that on this planet. It's always been like this. It's always been countries, tribes, whatever. There's always been sections of the planet closed off to other people because whatever tribe or group of people live there and they're like, we don't want you to come over here because you're not one of us. It's always been that way. It's never not been that way. And again, those structures and those clans and those languages and all of this shit that separates people, religions and all of that was introduced by the demons that control the world. They purposely did that to separate people, to cause them to fight, to cause them to hurt each other. But if people dropped all this bullshit that doesn't matter, the shit would end immediately. Like snap of the fingers. It would be quick. There would be peace in the world. People stop worrying about shit that doesn't matter. That's the problem. Anyways, I've said enough. I think you guys get the point. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, share where you can. Hit the notification bell. And again, check the description. If you want to support the channel, I will really appreciate it. Take care.